This is a visual representation of Austin doing some work. <laughs> I don't think you're funny. <laughs> I'll, I'll say for one, usually I don't even do this. I do. Based on the fact that we, we get uh, we get our, um, our ship in our Royal Mail stuff uh, picked up, like, what do they call it? Collection. Yeah, yeah. Um, from our home. But today, we, well, last night we couldn't, so uh, I'm dropping it all off this morning. I have to say, we um, have a free day dispatch, a little bit of extra info on eBay. Uh, this is the eBay sales today. Um, and uh, But we post daily just so that we can get ahead of our dispatch times and then we look really good on eBay's algorithm. Um, so this is about the average sort of, would you say this is the average about about 10 to 20 a day? About that, yeah, eBay. yeah. eBay. Yeah, yeah, eBay, for eBay specifically. Obviously, um, like a majority of our vintage or um, anything else actually we send, which is maybe bigger, goes via Hermes or like, you know, it depends. Um, sometimes vintage also use, um, what are they called? Imposed. Yeah, and Vestia use UBS, things like... Think, um, DPD. What's the other one? Yodel. No. FedEx. FedEx, FedEx I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, so like, um, they go obviously elsewhere, but that was our Royal Mail for this morning. Does anyone else get really, like, depressed when they see all those bags outside trash shops waiting for the bin? This was a bin delivery. I was... I can't. I get really... Deep. Yeah, I'm guessing most of it's ragged. Like, ragged? Ra like, the stuff which is getting ragged. Goes to a rag man. Because yeah. then it gets recycled. But I don't know the rag man's not collecting that. Is that for, like, I don't know. I saw the rubbish truck. It's a commercial waste. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I didn't want to actually have to say that on here, but you forced my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I am forceful in that way. 100%. It's so I've looked at this dress six times. What is it? There. It's, it's nothing, but it's There's, really heavyweight. They've, they've, they've cut out the label too, which hurts my soul. Yeah, but it's really heavyweight, isn't it? Oh, it is very heavyweight. That's why I looked at it, Bethany. Okay. Did you find anything in the daily section today? Mm, nothing. This is our local town. Are you surprised? Um, do we haven't been here in a couple of days. We normally like to come here like every day. No, no, it was like, I thought that was kind of cool, but then it was Sheen. Oh, Sheen. Shine. Someone said Shine the other day. Anyway. Someone um, with the SH, anyway. We like to come here as regularly as we can, and we find the stock turnover the best. Out of anywhere we go, we find the stock turnover the best here, which we're very lucky that it's our local as well. That does help. Um, it's, a, it's a very high tourist town, so there's a lot of turnover for just normal peeps. Right? Why are I'm, you laughing? I, I'm laughing because I've looked at that just about 12 times and every time I just check if the price is the same and guess what? It's the same. They do reduce every now and then though, isn't yeah. they? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm waiting for but, you know, it didn't happen. They used to do a lot more, I have to say, didn't they? I think they're, they're on to us. They're on to us, yeah. Um, I do notice that they do price up certain garments. Don't know what they? I'm looking at right that's now. That's a nice side table. It's very like mid-century modern vibes. Uh, yeah, okay. They're kind of the, yeah, they're okay. like C-shape. I'm just trying to make conversation because clearly... I don't it, want to talk to you, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's dry, dry air from your side of the room. Well, well honestly, I'm, I'm I'm looking at the visual representation of the uh, picking matter. And right now, that's kind of cool. Talk to me. Oh, I love Kate Nash. If anyone... Oh, I just got really good vibes to Kate Nash. She was the first vinyl I bought, I bought as a teenager. Like, I thought it was really cool when I bought... It's probably worth a fortune now because they didn't really make vinyl at that time. You know, True the story. early 2000s. Yeah. Um, my they didn't finger make a lot. tips are holding. Yeah. onto the cracks in our foundations. Yeah. Yeah, such a vibe, such a vibe. Don't know where she is now. Hope she's okay. Um, I saw them in the news about her recently, actually, yeah, I think. Does, I think she's she like... TikToks. Okay, cool. This is a Homeworks candle, a cashmere birch. <laughs> and do you know where this was available? This was like, this is like £20 online. But do you know where it was available? What? QVC, folks, QVC. Did you take the time to smell it? Yeah. Yeah. And look it up. I think we should leave more banterous moments in, you know, like where you just pick I'm up... I'm not sure that's what I'd call banterous. It's total trash. <laughs> but no disrespect to anyone who owns that candle, but... What are these shoes in here? Did you see... Oh, here we go. They were kickers, and this is a vintage Mulberry clutch bag, or they're telling me it's a clutch bag anyway. It's actually dark green, which is quite nice. Um, For anyone who doesn't know the history of Mulberry, they recently... I say recently, within the last, like, five years, uh, changed their logo back to the original 1970s variation of the logo, and their official colour now is racing green again. Again, which yeah. is super cool um so that was actually a nice bag 60 pounds very reasonable for your everyday buyer um we would probably double up but as everyone knows that ain't our flaves yeah that's true and not only that to be honest what i would say is it's very classic uh it's very classic looking it's not kind of contemporary, contemporary necessarily yeah fun uh jazzy think, it, it, yeah it's none of those things that's for sure <laughs> specifically not jazzy half time is nearly over we only have 
<laughs> Four days left of half term. I'm not sure I can make many more outfits, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I, I can, you know, wake up at 6am on a non-school day ever again. And get another human being dressed? Oh, it's just too much, it's too much. For anyone who doesn't have uh, children in their lives... Oh, run, run as fast as you can. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Anyway, this is an Oakley t-shirt. It's got the centre hit. I knew that would annoy you. Oh, God. I said hit. And a back hit as well. <laughs> I'm going to hit you. It's also got a label. Um, no, what I thought it was called cool about the label was it said Oakley Software, which I think is really cool. Cute. Because all the glasses in the 90s and early 2000s were called Oakley Hardware. If you find the wrap over head sunglasses... Let me know, because I don't want to pay six grand for them. Bethany anyway. passed me these. They were Rohan trousers, and they were two pounds. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, oh, they, that's, oh, let's do them. And there was a hole in the knee, so I just gave them back to her. Rohan's cursed. I yeah. thought, okay, we'll do it. They were actually two nice pounds. trousers. I can't lie. They were good quality. Like They were their nice trousers. They weren't just a pair of slacks, Ladies so Ladies ones, you would get like 25 to 30 if you were pushing it. Pushing it hard. Um... Push it real good. <laughs> Push it real good. <laughs> look at these, what Beth look what well, look at these what Bethany found, I was gonna say. I thought these were unusual. I also thought they were semi ugly, don't tell anyone. But I thought these were unusual and I sort of delve into the innards. They were two pounds. The innards. Yes, oh, in the inner linings. And um these oh. are Alexander McQueen. These are a long leg and they are high waisted. They've got this sort of like a uh, ringmaster. Uh, embroidered with Stella McCartney do like a jacket which would go with yeah. it. What, what's it, what, what's yeah, what? that? Military. That's Mil military. It's more military, yeah, it is. Yeah, more military, do you think? Yeah. Anyway, so this is um, um this is Alexander McQueen. Full label. Full label. And then they did McQueen as a like, sort of like ready to wear streetwear brand and people get mixed Like up. MCQ. The MCQ in that logo it just stands for McQueen. It's as simple as that. It was just how their was logo like the, was. It was his ready to wear. It wasn't his couture. It was like it, his... Exactly that. Stuff. But it's not the same as MCQ. This is older. Yeah, so they're a size 12. They're very unusual. Um, they're obviously, they're button. I love the button um, waist. I do like that feature. Um, anyway, they are extremely rare. Of course they are because, you know, us. How we roll. Um, I have listed them for 350 based on the going price of jeans from the early 2000s with this label. Um, I couldn't find the exact jeans, and that happens a lot of the time. I get a lot of messages saying I couldn't find the exact one. I priced it like this. What do you think? The thing is, when you get pieces like this, you might not find the same one. Um, well, there's a good not... chance, actually. You're more likely not to find it than well, you are. With high street brands and then some high-end brands, that you know, or popular designs, etc. you mm. will find like-for-like like comps, and then you can decide where you want to sit on the market, etc. However, with sort of like uh, more early pieces, 2000 pieces, 90s pieces, oh my God, <laughs> um, then you're going to um, gonna find it harder to find a like-for-like like comp, and therefore you have to sort of set the market a little bit. So this is free 60 sweater. sweater. Not cashmere, sweater. I see what they did there. Yeah, this is nice. Look, Breton, thick cotton knit. Um, Lovely it, condition as well. How much? Split him. It? it was only like four pounds, I wasn't it? It was what they call in this part of the country cheap. Four pound twenty five. Do you know what? I sell the cashmere really well for free figures, but I haven't looked at the sweater. Cracking so belt, Bethany. Let's put that right back. That is a, um, a non legitimate. A Mez belt. And this is a non-legitimate Gucci belt. To be fair, they weren't stamped Gucci or a Mez. No, they, they were weren't. Just, they, we would just show them because they were fun. I think I, the people in the shop probably I thought actually, they were initial belts. Yeah, I think so. I actually think this belt, as much as it was an old, like, 80s kind of knockoff, I think that belt is outstanding. It's nice. Not enough. the belt itself, the actual, because the belt is kind of one of those ones you kind of um, that, like, adjust and cl clip in or screw they in. They break. They snap off, yeah, like that. Um, the actual, like, emblem itself was really cool. Um, And while we were in this shop... In our whistle stop tour, our lovely lady in green today. She's wearing green today. She has the Marlboro jeans. We don't purchase Marlboro jeans because from that age, that was an early 2000s tag. And some sick old Burberry. Some more sick Burberry. So that was a utility sort of safari shirt, again, with the embroidered emblem. And that was sort of the 80s, uh, 90s, so nice. actually. 90s outdoor. Early 90s, yeah. Um, coat with the embroidered logo label there. There was nothing on the outside. That's the only thing I will say about this piece. Do you know if that was and that was the actual outer. Like, see, Look at that. Outer, yeah. mm. 
Um, if that was the actual outer, that that thing's worth like three, four hundred pound all day long. Mm -hmm. So we authenticated those two pieces for her, and then she likes to go back and uh, look them up for, and set a price for us, which are normally very reasonable. And it we're is. very happy to pay it. For anyone watching as well, that kind of like that embroidery, that kind of logo, Burberry have just reused that with obviously Burberry rather than Burberrys, yes. and it's very been very very popular. So the vintage Burberrys version is like uh, it just goes for massive money at the moment. So any of that kind of logo in those like kind of embroidered looks, if you will. They go for great, great, great money. So keep your eye out for those, especially the vintage pieces. Great money. Yeah, Did great you money. Say great money. Um, I think it goes for great money as well. Great money. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, that was a sh that was another short video for you today. Um, we are. Um, we have got a talky one, a little bit of a ranty one coming up. A um, rant. We've, we've just been so busy that we haven't been able to film it. So snow under, snow under. You're going to get some great Cardiff content first, okay? Cardiff, guys? you you breaking it right here now? Are you Cardiff? Cardiff, yeah. Okay, bye.